Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the Morgan Hypercoaster Contest. Now, as the name suggests, everybody in this round had to make a hypercoaster, which uh, looked like it could have been built by the company Morgan. So yeah, uh, Morgan, I believe they've built uh, eight of these uh, hypercoasters uh, across the world. And yeah, they're just uh, big um, and they have really impressive support. And usually their layouts are uh, quite uh, simple. So yeah, and that uh, of course had to be reflected in the layouts that people made. Now, um, for this contest, the parks could have a maximum size of 100 by 100 tiles. So these, uh, the parks that the people created, uh, they're huge. So I cannot possibly cover everything that's in the parks in this video. So for, from ev for every park, I'm just going to try and point out a few things in the park that I liked. And maybe a few things in the park that could have used uh, improvement. So there were 38 finished entries. I will start with the one that got last place. And then I'll continue on until the one that uh, was the winner of the round. So let's uh, move on to the one that got last place. Okay, in the last place we have this entry from Rice Extreme Cup Challenge. Now, um... Yeah, this park is uh, set in a rocky uh, landscape. So, uh, lots of uh, dirt and rock. Some mine buildings scattered around. Um, also some dynamite. Quite a few uh, tunnels. Uh, but yeah, m a lot of people didn't really like the coaster here. Uh, mostly because uh, why well, yeah, it's re just really fast, ridiculously fast in uh, in many spots. You can see it just flying through the layout here over the hills. Uh, when you see the stats of your coaster, usually I don't care about the stats of, stats of a coaster much. But this one has minus 2.40 negative vertical Gs. It's also shown in red. So that's usually a good indicator that uh, your layout needs some improvement. And you could especially see it in this part here. The coaster just flies over these hills. That would be very uncomfortable for the guests. Now another part uh, where this coaster is a bit lacking is uh, the supports because these uh, Morgan Hyper coasters they typically have really uh, impressive supports especially for the lift hill and usually also for the for the yeah, first hill after that so yeah um, I think this layout is uh, well yeah it's mostly uh, reminiscent of the it mostly looks like something like uh, Phantom's Revenge which is uh, even though it's a Morgan coaster, it's a bit of a weird one because it's an aero coaster, which was, uh, yeah, of which a lot of the track was redone by uh, Morgan in the end. But yeah, um, in the end, I don't really think the track layout looks like uh, Morgan, and many people didn't think it did. And it's yeah, it's usually a good idea to make sure that the coaster travels or that the train travels through your coaster at. Uh, at sort of a reasonable speed. So yeah, um, lots of improvement uh, could have been made in this uh, entry. Okay, here's the entry from uh, a newcomer on my Discord, Red X uh, Smoke. Now he made this big um, hyper coaster here. Um, well, yeah, something that's immediately already quite obvious, I think, is that um, there's this massive uh, support structure under it. But actually, for uh, real hyper coasters, there's usually some uh, space in between. So, uh, also like I showed in the tutorial for this uh, coaster, it's usually a good idea to place like two of these uh, support structures, and then just uh, leave one of them out, like uh, like this. And it will, uh, yeah, it, it will uh, give it some, uh, let's call it some breathing room. It doesn't look as uh, massive uh, as it does now. And the pro problem, I think, is that he did it for the, almost his entire coaster. Well, not here, at least. Um, another thing that you probably should avoid in any um, coaster layout, really, is that... Um, there's this long, uh, straight, sloped section here. Um, yeah, when you make a long, straight, sloped section, uh, well, it is, it's usually much better to make it look a bit more uh, curvy. 
So make it a bit steeper in the middle. Um, try to make it uh, look like it flows nicely. I think this uh, parts like these generally um, don't look very good on your coaster. Also, large parts on the ground uh, are typically best avoided uh, in your coaster. Um, other than that, there's also some other coasters here, but I think these uh, layouts also look a little bit uh, messy. I think this is a launched coaster, not really sure. I do like the station building that he puts. Oh yeah, here's the launch. Now, when you do a launched coaster, um, when you give it a top hat like this, uh, usually it's nicer to give it some uh, vertical drag rather than this uh, weird uh, steep angle uh, with a top hat on top. You will typically never see this on a, on a real coaster. Typically they will just go uh, go steeper than this. So yeah, and here's some other coasters uh, again. Um, yeah, when you make a wooden coaster, typically it will look nicer if you uh, just give it a brown color instead of using these uh, crazy colors that uh, were used here. And also really don't do a <coughs> double chain lift like this. It's much nicer if you uh, just do a single chain lift. I think this coaster is already uh, way too high for, uh, for a wooden coaster. You can see how massive uh, that drop is. And also, yeah, I, I made a tutorial on uh, wooden roller coasters. And if you do a big drop like this, at least smoothen it out a little bit on the bottom. Because now it just looks like, like a big V shape. So yeah, lots of uh, improvement also uh, to be made in this uh, entry. All right, here's the entry from Real Steel. Now, what I found really funny is that he actually uh, recreated all of the existing Morgan Hyper coasters. So, or well, I'm not sure if he did all of them, but there's at least uh, seven of them. So here's Superman El Ultimo Escape. So yeah, I'm not going through uh, all this uh, track here, but I believe it, he actually recreated it fairly uh, accurately. Uh, here we have uh, Mamba, and then here there's a uh, wild thing. Here he recreated uh, Steel Eel, and then here there's uh, Phantom's Revenge. I kind of like how he also gave it the curved drop, and here there's the second drop into the canyon. Well, normally I believe it would pass uh, under the wooden roller coaster. He actually recreated a wooden coaster here, but it travels uh, over it twice. I think it's uh, the iconic part about this coaster is that it actually travels under the, uh, the woody. But yeah, maybe I'm mistaken, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, actually, uh, I think uh, these uh, coasters were actually recreated uh, f quite accurately. But I think uh, as a result of spending all this time on these coasters, the, the landscape here really uh, suffers. I mean, he just put some paths here and some trees. Uh, and that's really it. Um, the park really suffers. So yeah, that's why a lot of people gave him a low score for the park. I mean, it's nice if you uh, make some really nice coasters in your park. But you should also really uh, work on making the park look nice. And I think it looks a little bit uh, lazy. There's just some trees and some plants spanned here. And just the same path everywhere. So yeah, that uh, it's definitely lacking a lot in uh, that department. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Spudge. Now, he actually provided a story with this uh, entry. And the story was so huge. Um, I sadly didn't have the time. Uh, to read it all, so I didn't. So there's probably elements uh, that I missed. Now, um, I can immediately see something that I usually don't like. So uh, when I open the park now, uh, there's an empty uh, car going around on the track. It's usually a good idea to make sure that uh, your trains are full at the moment uh, you save and uh, submit the park. It's uh, much more fun to see a full train uh, go through the track at the moment when you open it. It's just, uh, it's a small thing, but it's uh, 
it's good to remember if you want the voters to give you the the full score now um let's see the layout of the cursor i'm not really sure why there's this uh, flat section here on top but i do like how it's uh, decorated so a huge drop down here and pass here here's a turn around and here it uh, goes back there's some uh, bunny bunny hills here and then it returns back to the station uh, i'm usually not really fond of when people put uh, brakes on the top of their hills when you need that it's probably better to just make the coaster uh, a little bit lower so it uh, generate less speed or either make the hill higher um yeah in this park there's a lot of uh, expansion scenery it's usually a good idea to go easy on the expansion scenery i mean uh, it's it's usually nice to have uh, a few parts in your park but they have really uh, clunky animations usually and I think uh, the normal scenery actually looks uh, much nicer. So it's usually a good idea to just uh, take it down a notch. And this park uh, has a lot of it. So yeah, that in turn uh, makes it look a little bit uh, cheap in, uh, in some, part, some parts. Now, um, all of this was probably explained in the, in the story. But uh, yeah, I recommend not making the story for your park too long. Or uh, most people will not... Uh, take the time to actually read it but yeah um, like I said I think all the expansion scenery all the uh, makes it look a little bit uh, chaotic so it's usually better to just uh, take that down a notch all right let's move on to the next entry okay this is the entry from uh, saleable foil now I kind of like how he made this uh, gradient in this park so uh, yeah, it's a rainbow, so it starts here with red, uh, orange, then yellow, then green. And he actually did a merge here, because so you can only have uh, four colors on your coaster. So he merged uh, some track here in order to get uh, some blue and some uh, purple in it. And on the side of the park there are all these uh, flags for uh, gender fluid, uh, bisexual etc etc so i guess this is a coaster for a uh, pride month now like i said i actually kind of like the gradient he put in this uh, coaster and the layout of the of the morgan i also uh, kind of like it it's uh, it's quite simple but uh yeah morgans are uh, simple so there's just uh, a drop here uh, a hill here another hill here's a really cool looking uh, turnaround and here's a mid course break run. After that, just some uh, bunny hills into and back into the station. So yeah, the layout it's uh, it's quite nice. Um, the other rides in the park, I'm not really uh, sure about them. So it's uh, very uh, colorful. Not really sure if these uh, colors uh, mix uh, very well. And actually, the most complaints were about this uh, yellow texture that he used here. I mean, I get why he did it. Uh, was it this uh, this gradient throughout the park? But this grid uh, ground texture is uh, usually best avoided in your park. But yeah, overall, I kind of really like the layout of the of the Morgan. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Beto Junior ninety one, uh, another newcomer on my server, I believe. So he made this uh, big Morgan here. He actually used the entire one hundred by one hundred map. I recommended people to just uh, black tile uh, areas uh, because it's a lot of work to fill this entire map. But he actually pulled it off, pulled it off. Um, but yeah, it is quite uh, spammy in some areas with uh, with all these uh, trees here. Now for the layout the, of the coaster, I kind of like these uh, supports. I think it's a nice uh, support structure here with these uh, columns and also some. Uh, some strengthening here on the side. Also for the for these uh, for these hills, that's uh, quite cool. Um, these uh, curves here, not really sure about them. They're both uh, really low to the ground. These turnarounds are typically done, I believe, at uh, 
at a higher place or maybe with a with a bit of a slope in them I do really like the way he did this uh, fence right next to his coaster that looks quite cool um, and this turn around here it's very wide um, maybe it would have looked nicer if it was a little bit more compact but I get that it uh, that is taken at quite a high speed so that's probably why it does it uh, yeah why it does such a wide turnaround now here you see some ev evacuation stairs. It's probably better to make these a little bit more compact. We can see another uh, few entries uh, later where the evacuation stairs are also really wide. Usually um, two tiles should be enough to uh, make the entire evacuation stairs. I think it will look uh, nicer and also a bit more realistic. Uh, here at the end there's uh, some bunny hills. Now these last bunny hills here they are very uh, triangular. It's uh, something uh, typically seen on Arrow hypercoasters, I believe. I think they look nicer when you make them more curvy, like this uh, hill over here. Now, other than that, there's also some uh, buildings here. Um, these buildings are all very uh, diverse, with uh, <laughs> this uh, toy factory uh, really popping out. But yeah, um... I think for this area it would have been better to just uh, black tile it. Uh, but I have to say this also looks uh, quite nice. Maybe it would have been a nice idea to actually make some make some uh, height variations in the land at least. So yeah, not a not a bad job from this uh, newcomer. Okay, here's the entry from Herplexed. Um so yeah, he made this uh, Morgan over here, uh, so it travels up the, the lift hill. He actually made uh, this mini golf track right next to it for us, for the for the catwalk. And I believe it's a wooden coaster track under it. Um, I guess it's also a catwalk, not sure. Uh, so yeah, an uh, interesting support structure under the coaster. That's also what I used in the... Uh, one of my earlier uh, Morgan Hyper coasters. It's a lot of work to uh, to actually make this. So yeah, that uh, that makes it the more impressive that uh, that he did it for uh, for all of his uh, well for this huge uh, lift hill and then the first hill as well. So um, coaster travels down here, goes over this hill, then here there's this weird double drop. And then already it passes through the mid-course brake run. So yeah, I, th I think the mid-course brake run should have been uh, put a little bit uh, later in the track. Because it loses a lot of speed here. And then here uh, the track is already much lower. I mean, there's not really a point in making your coaster so high. If you're already going to bleed off that speed uh, so soon. And then after that, there's a series of, uh, of bunny hills. Uh, before it uh, goes back into the brake run and back to the station. Now, I'm not really sure what the idea was with uh, this uh, tunnel over here. I think it looks better when the, uh, yeah, when there's, it's a bit more of an uh, organic shape. Now it looks like a big block of steel with some uh, walls right next to it. I think the tunnel could have been uh, done in a nicer way. I do like all these uh, boats going around here. There's also this uh, horse track here. There's some uh, cool uh, extra rides here. Especially this uh, Woody. I think it looks quite interesting with this uh, spiral here. It's a nice uh, double up here. So yeah, definitely some uh, interesting uh, extra rides here. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Piano Den. So, um, yeah, from the station, which actually looks uh, very interesting. Interesting uh, shape. Um, the tra coaster travels upward. He used uh, what's it called? The multi dimension coaster track uh, for the lift hill. I kind of like how he put these uh, orange uh, highlights on the support structure. Something you also see over here. So, yeah, it definitely makes these uh, supports uh, stand out uh, more. Some nice uh, details on it. I also like that he put these uh, diagonal parts uh, on top. Or these uh, sloped uh, fences, I mean. 
Now this is a <laughs> pretty cool turnaround. Not really sure if you will see anything like this on a actual Morgan, but I do like the way this uh, this looks. So yeah, um, unlike the previous uh, kosher that we saw, this one actually covers quite a lot of track before it uh, finally reaches the mid course break run. So that uh, should make the ride a lot more exciting for the guests. So a little bit of a tunnel here. And here in the end there's a, a helix and some uh, another little hill before it returns back to the to the station. Now there's also some uh, extra rides here. Here's a go-kart uh, track. Um, yeah, when you make a go-kart track it's just like a good idea to uh, extend the path or the yeah, the racetrack up to the to the rail you make on the outside or uh, or do like uh, you did here and put some tires right next to it I don't think if it's a good idea to leave sand on the outside so when I make a go-kart track usually I just make uh, the entire go-kart track uh, dirt or uh, yeah or like tarmac and not just a little bit section of uh, of dirt track, but yeah, that's just my uh, my uh, preference. Well, yeah, other than that, uh, I don't really have much to say about this uh, about this entry. I do really like the landscaping here. So here, he actually turned the lift hill of the Morgan kind of, kind of into a terrain coaster. I really like the way this uh, landscaping looks here. Okay, here we have the entry from Kirill Fastleaf. Now, um, here we have a very interesting uh, station building, some interesting roofs here. Um, so when the coaster leaves the station, then it travels up the lift hill here. This is a very uh, interesting lift hill structure, very uh, impressive uh, supports here. I kind of like the way they look, also with these uh, rusty uh, rings uh, around them. It really makes these uh, supports uh, stand out. So that's uh, that's quite cool. So let's uh, follow the the coaster throughout the track layout for a bit. So it travels up the hill here with a curve on top. Here's uh, another hill. Then here's a turnaround with a mid course brake run. And after that, it travels uh, under the path here. Here there's a bit of a diagonal section with another tunnel here. And here's another tunnel. Here's a crazy turnaround with some helixes. And then after that it returns back to the station. I really like this uh, this layout. Might be a little bit fast here at the end, but uh, for sure it's an interesting layout for this coaster. Now, so yeah, I, I really like the Morgan in this park, especially the, the support. Uh, I didn't really like the other rides in this park. For example, you can see a steel mouse here, but I think it looks uh, very uh, massive and it doesn't uh, look like it's using any block brakes. Usually when you have a wild mouse coaster like this, there will be block brakes on the track to make sure that the ride is actually uh, safe and that if something happens on one part of the track that all the cars will come to a safe uh, standstill. So yeah, it also looks a bit too big in my opinion. This uh, this one looks a little bit messy. I do like kind of like this uh, side friction uh, coaster. That one has an uh, interesting layout. So it might be a little bit too uh, close to the edge of the map. Because it really looks like it's kind of shoehorned in here with this uh, support structure. Usually um, stuff you build on the edge of the map will uh, look nicer if you uh, leave an extra tile of space uh, around it just do not let me make it look uh, like it's uh, shoehorned in okay here's the entry from uh, dark oro now dark oro made this uh, really cool looking map here uh, with this uh, yeah, with this long uh, beach here i really love the the look of this uh, beach also a nice uh, lighthouse here even as a little uh, coaster car uh, driving around which acts as, acts as the lighthouse lamp. He also put some uh, plants uh, underwater here and some uh, ruins kind of like I did in my uh, in my mega park. 
uh, when you do this, do it like this. Usually, I think it's better to make little like clusters of uh, plants and uh, ruins instead of just uh, spreading them all out uh, evenly. I think it uh, will look uh, better if you do it uh, in little clusters. Now, I also see some little spots where the water is a bit uh, glitchy. For example, where the, my mouse is pointing now. These are small things, but uh, it's usually uh, good to take care of them. You can also see it here. And that's what happens if you uh, place objects like these under water, but you don't move them under the surface with the tile inspector. So yeah, that's also uh, something to uh, take into account when you build stuff underwater. You can actually see quite a bit more of these uh, spots. Um, now for this path, um, you can see a lot of uh, different uh, textures were used. Maybe a little bit too much, but at least it does make the path uh, look interesting. And uh, yeah, I really like the way he made this uh, this car ride here with all these uh, interesting gardens in between. When you make a car ride like this, it's usually a good idea to uh, put some extra decorations around. I don't know, maybe a little fountain or a, a little building around, stuff like that. Just some interesting things uh, for the people to look at rather than just uh, this path through this uh, flowers. I think it will uh, yeah, make it look a little bit more uh, lively. Uh, one thing I really liked about this entry was that he actually made a dumpster here and he actually put this uh, cool dude uh, <laughs> inside it. That was uh, that was really funny. So yeah, I, um, I think this was a, was a really nice uh, entry. Also a nice uh, layout for the coaster. I also liked the way he did his uh, supports. And also this, uh, this arch through which the guests enter the park. I think this is uh, some really nice uh, interaction. Also like the turnaround around the lighthouse. That's also uh, pretty cool. So yeah, I think this was a very nice uh, entry from Dark Aura. Great job. Okay, here's the entry from uh, DDD. Oh, another lighthouse here. I think this lighthouse looks a little bit more uh, impressive. Also with a nice little building next to it. But of course, uh, it doesn't look like this one has an actual light rotating around it. And I'm also not really sure about this uh, ring of uh, rocks uh, around it with some with a few uh, gumdrops. This could have probably been done in a, in a little bit of a nicer way. Maybe if you made the texture here on the inside uh, grass. I think uh, th this immediately already makes it look uh, nicer. Just a little bit more, uh, yeah, like a more of a gradient towards uh, the inside. But yeah, that's just uh, that's just a little thing. It's a very interesting uh, map shape for sure. So a bit of a rectangular section here then with an extension which actually leads to this uh, lighthouse here. Let me quickly disable the rain again. Uh, as for the Morgan, so here it uh, travels up the, the lift hill. Um, so yeah, quite uh, interesting uh, supports used the same method I used in one of my earlier ones. I like how it uh, passes through this uh, shipwreck here on the, on the first drop. That's uh, quite cool. It also puts some smoke effects here, which you will often see when you uh, have a coaster that passes uh, through a tunnel or something. So, um, yeah, not a spectacular layout. Um, I think it's just uh, a good layout. So just a lift hill. Some uh, other hills over here. A, a nice uh, turn around here, quite uh, close to the ground, with some really nice uh, plants uh, around here. He used these uh, Japanese uh, snowball trees uh, in a really good way. These uh, trees are great because you can uh, bury them underground and they, they look like uh, dry bushes. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a great way to uh, use these trees. The only thing you have to be careful with when you place these trees is that because uh, all expansion items have one or more flaws, well, these trees actually don't uh, automatically rotate when you try to uh, place them. So you'll have to rotate them yourself. And it looks like all these, uh, yeah, all these trees are in the same orientation. So that's something to uh, take into account when placing these. Um, yeah, other than that, some... Uh, some interesting uh, buildings here. Also a church here. 
No, I, I actually like this church, except for this, uh, the fact that he didn't really give it a door. When you make a building, you should always give it a nice uh, doorway. Well, for example, you, you could simply use uh, this standard scenery door. Let's uh, give it disable clearance checks. Like this, this already looks uh, so much better in my opinion. You could even open the doors with a tile inspector. That makes it look a lot more finished, I think. So yeah, um, I really, I really enjoyed the the Morgan uh, coaster. That was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I wish the church had a door, and there were some other spots which uh, I think just could have used a little bit more uh, decoration. And perhaps, uh, for example, here in the middle of the path, there could have been some trees or some planters, just to make it look like less like a big. Uh, ocean of uh, path okay here's the entry from tango whiskey kappa a newcomer on my uh, discord lots of newcomers in this round i really like that and if you've uh, seen my uh, mega park series uh, you will probably uh, recognize some of these buildings you can see shen's kitchen here um, you can see the station which he uh, actually copied from my uh, monorail station that i built in the mega park uh, here's another uh, nice uh, station building with a B&M uh, sit-down coaster. Also, again, like the kind of like the one that I built in my uh, mega park. I like the way he uh, did these uh, all these different kinds of trees. Also, this uh, path that's uh, kind of like uh, how I did the path for the for the car ride in my mega park. I think these uh, these uh, flower colors uh, combine really well. Also with these yellow trees next to them, and uh, there's also a suspended coaster here. Now, as for the layout of the Morgan, he actually makes it pass over this uh, ravine, which he uh, black tiled. Maybe he could have just made a river here, not sure. At least I think this is an uh, interesting choice. Um, yeah, for the layout of the coaster. Yeah, I think it's uh, quite uh, typical of uh, Morgan. It's uh, a series of uh, big hills and here a big turnaround. I kind of like how the turnaround goes around the water here with these uh, with these uh, boats going around. Here's a mid-course brake run with uh, a bit of a twisty section. And then after that, there's some more uh, bunny hills. Here's a weird uh, helix at the end. Not really sure if that's very typical of uh, for Morgan. And after that, it returns back to the station here. Now, uh, one thing that probably he could have done better was the support for this uh, Morgan. Uh, like I showed in the tutorial, it's always nice to put some uh, sloped uh, wooden post fences on top of these supports, just to add some, uh, yeah, just to add some, like some triangles on top just to make it look more like the supports actually follow the track. It uh, just makes it look a lot nicer when you do that. So yeah, for sure, uh, I think that's the biggest thing that could have earned him some uh, extra points from uh, voters. But overall, I think this is a really cool map. <laughs> and I, I really enjoy it when uh, people uh, try to recreate stuff from my mega park. Okay, here's the entry from uh, the shack. Now, first off, I'm going to show the park because uh, I think it looks amazing. I uh, love how he made the shape of the park. So uh, that's a very interesting shape because of the all the black tile that he did. I uh, really like uh, just to follow this uh, this path. Um, so yeah, it just swirls uh, through this uh, mountainous landscape. It's uh, absolutely filled with uh, buildings and uh, trees and all kinds of uh, decorations. So yeah, I actually gave him uh, quite a high score for the park itself. Also the Morgan coaster, it looks uh, really impressive with this uh, huge uh, track, all these uh, supports. But yeah, the Morgan uh, actually also had its uh, flaws. So that's why this park is not any uh, higher on this uh, list. So I think the flaws uh, immediately become... Uh, I'm just pausing the game for a bit. So as you can see, this uh, this Morgan is huge. It's uh, like 69 meters high. Nice. 
it also starts almost at uh, ground level. So here it does its uh, first drop. This one's at uh, 49 meters. And then here it crawls. Uh, well, yeah, it, it gets braked to a much uh, lower speed. So yeah, he actually hit some brakes on top of this uh, Morgan. Now, if you're gonna make, uh, if you you make your coaster so high that you need brakes on the on the first uh, hill, then just make it lower. Uh, brakes really kill the momentum of your rides. Uh, also, on real rides where they add trim brakes, uh, you will get constant complaints from uh, people that they don't like that. So yeah, a big height difference and that really necessitates the usage of uh, brakes here. I think that's a shame because this uh, coaster looks uh, looks really nice. So yeah, here there's already a, a 30 meter uh, height difference. Um, now after that it goes through this uh, turnaround at uh, quite a high speed. I, I kind of like the way this uh, turnaround looks even though it might be a little bit uh, too fast here. But yeah, it looks uh, interesting uh, also with all these uh, extra supports here. Now, then after that, there's a big uh, brake section here, where which uh, pass over this path here. Then it does uh, two hills, and then there's another brake section. So yeah, that's already a three uh, break sections that I counted. Um, that's really too much for a, for a coaster. And then here at the end, there's a final uh, break section, I guess. So yeah, um, when you, I mean, one uh, mid course break run is uh, is typically enough for a coaster. Don't make it uh, too high. You're just gonna have to bleed off more speed, and kill the momentum of your car. Um, so yeah, beautiful park, but the coaster definitely uh, has its flaws. Okay, here's the coaster from QDU24. So he made this, uh, I believe it's German themed roller coaster because he also made a, a story in uh, German. Now, um, quite a simple uh, support structure once again. So also without the the sloped uh, wooden post fences. I think that would have uh, immediately already given him a bit of a higher score. Uh, so yeah, also some support under the under the first hill, and here uh, it just passes over some hills with a bit of with a turnaround here. Here's some more hills. Then there's the mid course break run. And then here there's some uh, more bunny uh, ho bunny hops. And, th and then here it passes under the coaster and then some more bunny hops before it returns back to the station. So yeah, really it's just a, a simple uh, layout just like you would expect on a Morgan. Not much uh, to say about it really. Um, but of course uh, we have the mid-course brake run here. And again really wide evacuation stairs. These uh, generally look so much better when you just make them two tiles wide. Let them go back and forth a few times. I think it's uh, much nicer and uh, more realistic than having these wide uh, evacuation stairs. Now, there's also some other uh, interesting uh, buildings and rides. I kind of like this uh, car ride that, uh, that he made. He actually used the enclosed cars from the expansions. You don't see uh, people use those very often. Mostly because normally uh, these cars are uh, open. Uh, some interesting uh, buildings here. I kind of like how he did these uh, planters around this uh, building. Some other uh, interesting uh, coasters here uh, as well. And there's also a log flume ride. And uh, yeah, a lot of the park is just uh, yeah, landscaping, trees uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, the, the park definitely has some uh, interesting buildings. Interesting Morgan as well. I think he could have done uh, a little bit more with these uh, supports. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Martin. Now he uh, actually used the uh, roller coaster tycoon one uh, land uh, tile edges. I always enjoy uh, seeing those. And of course, uh, yeah, there's this massive uh, park entrance here. I think it looks uh, looks really good. 
I really enjoy uh, the way this looks. All these columns, they look fantastic. I love the, these roofs here and these uh, decorations. This looks uh, really nice. There's even a little stair down here to my uh, Discord server. <laughs> also have uh, some basement security here. That's nice. Now, I really uh, enjoyed this uh, this entry. I love the way this uh, Morgan coaster looks. Uh, not really sure about the colors, but uh, at least it's an interesting uh, color scheme. So for the supports, uh, I kind of like this uh, this style that he uh, used for the supports. That looks pretty good. Um, as for the layout of the Morgan coaster, yeah, not really much to uh, to say about it. I think it looks uh, quite interesting. What I actually like most about this layout is uh, it kind of has like a like a U shape, and it sort of wraps around this uh, around this uh, boomerang. So yeah, I, I really like how this uh, boomerang is situated here, kind of like in the middle of this uh, coaster. It's, uh, I think it would be cool to stand in this queue and just be uh, surrounded by this uh, other coaster. Stuff like that is uh, stuff I can really uh, enjoy. Now, there's lots of other uh, cool uh, buildings here as well. Um, you can see a bit of a theater here. I also love these uh, buildings here. It's called Senor Toro. Here's another ride. It's an enterprise here. I also really like the way he did all these paths here and how he decorated them. It's a cool uh, fountain here in the middle. Also some cars going around. So yeah, just uh, lots of uh, interesting stuff uh, to look at. And of course there's also a big uh, snake over here. That's uh, <laughs> also uh, very cool. So I believe this coaster is called Rattlesnake. So yeah, this uh, there he actually put a rattlesnake right over the queue here. So yeah, a lot of focus on uh, realism in this uh, entry. And uh, yeah, I really uh, enjoyed uh, this entry. Great work. Okay, here's the entry from Futopia. Futopia made this uh, really big uh, park. It's also some uh, black tiled areas. Um, one thing Futopia didn't really do uh, very well is uh, actually <laughs> the black tiling because some parts were uh, missed. And there's actually some hills here. Um, it kind of looks uh, strange here uh, on the edge. So yeah, that probably could have been done a little bit uh, better. Uh, as for the Morgan, uh, yeah, I think these uh, supports are uh, overdone uh, a bit. It kind of looks like uh, wood now. <laughs> That's not something you would normally see on a uh, on Morgan. And I think these, uh, yeah, these supports here uh, on, the so on the side, I think they make it look uh, really um, a bit too massive for my, uh, for my taste. So yeah, um, also for the layout, maybe a little bit uh, too focused on uh, on twists. And again, here at the end, there's some helixes where probably a real uh, Morgan would have had some uh, bunny uh, hills here. Now, uh, I did actually really enjoy the the rest of the park. This uh, Ferris wheel here, it looks uh, amazing, called the Yeti's uh, Eye. There's lots of uh, cool buildings and extra rides here. Also some really nice uh, landscaping as well. There's lots of stuff uh, to look at uh, everywhere. Even a little uh, rock climbing ride, which uh, I believe I saw earlier in uh, Terry, one of Terry Inferno's uh, parks. Uh, yeah, there's lots of uh, really interesting buildings uh, throughout the park. Also, I love the way uh, this entrance was uh, done. So yeah, um, like I said earlier, I cannot uh, really cover everything that's in these parks because they're huge. But you can simply download all these parks from my uh, Discord server. So yeah, um, joining my Discord server uh, will cost you uh, nothing. <laughs> Discord is uh, completely free. So uh, yeah, just feel free to become a member. The link is in the video description. And then you can simply download all these entries and uh, check them out for yourself. There's a lot of stuff to uh, discover in them. All right, let's move on to the next entry. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Joff. He made this uh, 
huge uh, Morgan uh, coaster. Actually, uh, sort of shaped like an F. Because uh, yeah, it goes up the lift hill here, then it travels around here with a turnaround, and it goes all the way around here. Then here's another section to the side, and then uh, I believe the station is actually here, and then it travels uh, somewhat like this. So yeah, um, lots of just si simply a lot of the park is uh, landscaping, and there's uh, also a huge uh, parking lot here. For some reason, there's also a dinosaur and a rocket <laughs> on the parking lot. What I really like is how we actually made this uh, big uh, covered path to the entrance of the park. It's something you will see in some uh, real parks uh, as well. Now, I generally don't really like uh, putting these cars from the expansions. Mostly because I think they are not really scaled well compared to the guests. I prefer just using cars from the car rides. Now for the Morgan, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, this uh, lift uh, structure that he made. He actually used, uh, I think it's a, it's a log flume uh, lift hill as the catwalk for the for the coaster. I, th I really enjoy uh, the way this looks. Also this uh, support structure, I think it's really uh, impressive. He uh, mixed some uh, walls, it looks like, and he. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how he, he did this, but uh, this is a very interesting mix of uh, of different uh, wall types. So a little bit of a tunnel here at the bottom. And yeah, just uh, a lot of uh, different uh, hills here. Some turnarounds. I think uh, the, yeah, the biggest flaw I had with this entry was... Or I think the big, biggest flaw this entry has is that I think it's a little bit uh, too long. It's just uh, dragged out uh, too much. I mean, probably this section could have been... Uh, he could have had a turnaround over here. And uh, not really sure if it was necessary to extend the coaster all the way to over here. It uh, just goes on and on and on. But yeah, it, uh, at least it uh, does look uh, very uh, impressive. Again, here for the evacuation stairs, probably better to make it uh, less wide than this. But yeah, that's my uh, personal uh, preference. I do think he uh, put some uh, interesting support structures here. And uh, of course in the, the park, uh, the park section of his uh, entry, I think the, uh, these buildings here, they all look uh, really nice. I love the way he did all these uh, roofs. And it's uh, fun to see all these guests uh, queuing here on the, in the side of this uh, building. So yeah, very uh, interesting entry. Okay, here's the entry from Paif. Uh, impressive uh, landscaping here in this uh, in this entry. Um, so yeah, let's just start with the Morgan coaster here. So here's the station. I can see it do a little bit of a helix immediately when it leaves. And it travels up this uh, lift hill. Which also travels up the up the mountain here. Some impressive uh, landscaping done here. I also kind of like how he put this uh, wooden wild mouse track under the coaster to actually do the support here. That's uh, pretty clever. Uh, so yeah, some more uh, impressive supports here. And here uh, he just kept the default supports. Oh, I really like this uh, turnaround that he made right over this uh, waterfall. That's uh, that's some really nice uh, interaction there. An interesting uh, turnaround as well. Here there's the mid-course uh, break run. And then after that uh, there's some... Uh, it actually passes through a tunnel right under this uh, go-kart track. It's also Mr. Bones here. The guests in the go-karts probably have to uh, avoid him. And here it uh, tw twists un under the lift hill. And then there's some uh, bunny hops until finally it uh, goes back to the station here. So yeah, very uh, impressive uh, layout here. And uh, yeah, I love the way it uh, interacts with this uh, landscape here. And there's some uh, interesting other rides as well. No, I'm not sure if the go-karts... Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> So yeah, quite an interesting uh, go-kart uh, track as well. So, uh, the dirt uh, go-kart track with some uh, bridges. 
What I like most is how it actually passes over this uh, coaster here. Also some other interesting rides. You can see a Ferris wheel here. I love this uh, support structure that he made in the middle. And some other uh, interesting rides here as well. I guess this is uh, either a dive coaster or Eurofy. It's a dive coaster. So yeah, um, I think it's a it's a it's a nice park with some really nice uh, details uh, throughout the park. Also nice uh, ent entrance here, some really cool rides. Uh, yeah, just uh, really cool details uh, throughout the park. Great stuff. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Savvy Adam. He made this park uh, right on a on a beach. So uh, the guests uh, enter the park here, and they uh, immediately pass under this uh, huge uh, hyper coaster. Now I always uh, like when uh, when people do that. It's uh, it's some great uh, interaction, and uh, it probably uh, warms uh, guests up to the to this uh, ride. I would uh, immediately want to go for this uh, coaster if I uh, if I uh, enter the park like that. So for the hyper coaster. It travels up the lift hill here, some nice uh, supports with these uh, sloped uh, fence pieces on top as well. Now here, just a big drop, a big uh, first hill, then here's a smaller hill, another hill, then there's a turn around, uh, around the lighthouse, we've uh, seen that uh, before. I, I actually think it's interesting how the cozy track passes uh, under itself uh, here. That uh, looks kind of cool uh, from uh, some of the angles. And here's then the the mid course brake run. Now it's usually a good idea to uh, put some brake pieces uh, before the actual block brake instead of only the block brake, because if the train uh, has to wait, it will just immediately uh, come to a halt here at the block brake. While if you have other brakes here, it will uh, gradually uh, slow down. Now, uh, then after that, there's just a series of uh, bunny hops before it uh, goes back to the station. Kind of an interesting roof for the station as well, using these uh, dinghy slide uh, tubes. Now, I also really like the colors that he used in the map. This is a really nice uh, palette. I love this uh, dark brown. And there's also some uh, interesting other rides here as well. Now the main critique I had with this entry was uh, especially in this forest. I mean, uh, he only used uh, grass here under these uh, trees. When you make a forest, it's usually a good idea to vary the ground textures a bit. I mean, uh, it's always nice to just uh, also use some of this uh, brownish uh, grass. Maybe uh, also put some dirt. Just uh, put a few patches of uh, rocks here and there. And also do some uh, do some uh, height uh, changes just uh, yeah just make it look a little bit uh, hilly and that uh, will usually make your uh, forests look much better okay here's the entry from AJ now he also made a huge map um, it looks like a big uh, floating island in the in the sky so here's uh, here's this Morgan coaster I really like the station, um, so it looks lo kind of like a, like a temple, but also with uh, some uh, really cool plants and uh, stuff on top. Also like this elevated roof that he made here. Uh, so yeah, there's the lift hill for the Morgan coaster. He used the, what's it called, the multi-dimension coaster to make a catwalk under the normal track. Uh, yeah, as for the layout just has a first big drop here's a first here's a, the first hill here's another hill uh, a bit of a straight section here and then finally here it reaches the mid course uh, break run and after that there's a big uh, drop here into the ravine kind of reminds me of uh, what's it called phantoms uh, revenge I also love the way this area is framed here. It looks really nice when this uh, train passes over this bridge here. I love this uh, waterfall. 
So yeah, this is probably one of my favorite uh, areas of this uh, of this entry. This looks uh, fantastic. Now there's uh, some really nice other rides here as well. Um, there's a suspended uh, coaster going around here. Uh, I love all these uh, buildings that he made here, all these uh, temples, etc. The train also does an uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, it has an interesting trajectory here. Kind of like, also like how we did it in uh, Mount Duklink. But there I actually made it go uh, downhill like this. So yeah, lots of uh, interesting uh, stuff to see here. Obviously I cannot cover everything in this video or else it would become uh, very long. But yeah, like, like I said, this is absolutely my uh, favorite part of the entry. This is framed uh, really nicely. Okay, here's the entry from Zarathustra. Uh, he actually did lots of uh, shoestringing in this uh, entry. Um, yeah, first off, uh, I really love seeing this uh, traffic uh, go around here on this uh, highway. But uh, yeah, <laughs> the main issue I had with this was that the highway itself actually isn't decorated. Normally when you have a highway, it's, uh, it usually looks nice to have some um, banners above it or some road signs. Uh, put some stuff right next to the track. It will uh, it will make your roads look uh, much nicer if there's actually some more stuff to to see. I do like this uh, this big uh, yeah advertisement banner that he made here uh, for the park it's called uh, Industry uh, World. Now for the for the Morgan, um, I really like the color he used for the for the supports. So uh, first it. Uh, drops down a bit from the station, goes into this uh, turn around here and there's uh, some big hills, it's a bit of a helix here then it reaches the mid-course brake run then does this weird uh, steep uh, drop here after that there's some uh, bunny hills and the final helix before it returns back to the station um, so yeah, the Morgan um, I don't think it's uh, anything uh, special. It does some weird uh, stuff here, but other than that, I do really like the supports. Also kind of like this uh, this uh, tracky texture that he made on the side. But yeah, the undecorated road uh, behind it, I think it uh, kind of takes away from the beauty of this uh, scene. Now, I do like the stuff he, he uh, made here, all these uh, these power lines and stuff. That uh, really adds to the theme of the ride. Also, he made this uh, swing ride here, which also kind of looks like a Tesla coil. And uh, one of the rides I really liked was this uh, Pulsar recreation that uh, he made. It actually gets launched uh, backwards first, and then uh, forward, and then uh, backwards again, and then on the second circuit, it actually does a splash here in the water. Now, I don't know uh, how he did it, but uh, it's very impressive. Uh, and here it uh, travels uh, backwards into the into the station again. So yeah, no idea how he did it, but uh, very impressive uh, nonetheless. He also made this uh, powered coaster, and actually just like the new coaster at uh, Valid or at uh, Efteling, I mean, uh, it actually does his uh, first lap at a lower speed and the second lap at a higher speed. Again, more uh, shoestringing uh, shenanigans. If you want to learn how it works, well, you can download the park for yourself and just check underground, and then see if you can uh, <laughs> if you can understand it when you look underground, where you can see the control tracks. Okay, here you can see the entry from uh, Chuggers. Uh, he made a beautiful park. I mean, just uh, look at this. Um, when you see this uh, these lines like this, it's hard to believe that this is actually a uh, no. no not done with uh, custom scenery. So yeah, this is just a, a really uh, yeah, a really well stacked uh, set of scenery to create all these uh, paths at these uh, nice uh, angles. Also with all these uh, umbrellas right, uh, right next to it. Also I really like the colors that he used uh, and this rotor drop here in the center. I think it looks uh, great. And this is all also really nicely framed with this uh, Morgan Hyper coaster, which basically, uh, yeah, it pretty much encircles the uh, entire map. That's really impressive. 
I also like how it uh, passes over the park entrance uh, here. So yeah, as for the Morgan Hypercoaster, uh, again, really impressive uh, support structure. It uh, looks like it uses a lot of uh, wooden post fences. This must have uh, taken quite a few years to, uh, or in-game years, to uh, to do. And it looks uh, really impressive. Really, uh, really a nice job on the on those supports. And he actually did those for the entire coaster. That's really impressive. Uh, except for this uh, turnaround where he used these pipe pieces with these uh, gumdrops on top. Now, these pipe pieces with the gumdrop on top, I always think that looks a little bit uh, questionable. Uh, if you know what I mean. But it does at least, I think, look better than uh, just a pipe piece with uh, nothing on top. So yeah, I'm very impressed by this uh, Morgan. Uh, the landscaping here also looks really nice. Um, and the extra rides. Uh, yeah, I think this park is just... Uh, it's just uh, all laid out uh, very well. I just love uh, the flow of this uh, park. It's, it's just kind of like a, like a picture. It looks uh, really nice. Well done. Okay, here's the entry from Inox. Uh, he actually made this uh, coaster named Wild Thing. I'm not really sure if this is a recreation of the uh, existing ride, but uh, yeah, I, I do think it looks really nice. I especially love the colors of this uh, ride. I think these uh, greens, they mix uh, really well. And this uh, support structure, I think it looks uh, very impressive. I, uh, I love the way this uh, looks. And he actually did the support structure for uh, for quite a big part of the ride. So yeah, it could actually be a, be a recreation, not sure. I probably should pay more attention to the story that people uh, provide with the park. <laughs> But yeah, uh, travels down here through this uh, tunnel. Uh, very nice first lift hill with the impressive supports. And then here, there's a bit of a twisty section turn around here. Here's another uh, helix before it uh, reaches the mid course brake run. Also with some evacuation stairs. And after that, uh, it's like most Morgans, a series of uh, bunny hops. Here's a transfer track, the really nice uh, storage building. And then here, there's the station of the ride. Not really sure if the if a castle team is really fitting with the, yeah, with the rest of the ride. Because uh, with this uh, support structure, I think you would expect something more steampunky, uh, maybe. And this is actually more in a medieval area, so I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, at least the coaster does look uh, very impressive. I also really like the parking lot that he uh, made here. So yeah, very uh, impressive uh, landscaping through, uh, throughout the park. I think these uh, buildings here also look really nice. Some uh, different uh, sections here in the park. And also a big uh, junior coaster here. Maybe this junior coaster is a little bit uh, too spread out. I uh, usually like to have my junior coasters more uh, compact. It's like you would normally find them in uh, in real life. But yeah, um, very uh, impressive uh, coaster. I love the support structure. I also really like how the guests pass under this uh, arch here while they uh, enter the park. This is some. Uh, this is really nice work. Okay, here's the entry from Skiffa. He made this big uh, pink Morgan. <laughs> so a yeah, very interesting uh, color choice. Again, a different uh, support structure. Uh, it looks uh, very interesting, this support structure. It's a mix of uh, poles and uh, wooden post fences. Um, it looks very cool, even these uh, diagonal uh, sections. So an interesting uh, turnaround here, where it passes uh, under itself. Not really sure if a turnaround like this is very typical of uh, Morgan, but at least it does look uh, quite good. I also like how we made this uh, support uh, arch above the water. You also use these diagonal uh, metal uh, pieces to make the support structure in this diagonal section. Here's the uh, mid-course uh, brake run. 
And after that, it does a section where it passes uh, through uh, through this village. Um, this is very interesting how he made this uh, diagonal tunnel here. Not sure how he actually did it. Probably just used uh, the black tile uh, color. Let me quickly uh, disable the rain again. And then finally here it uh, returns back to the station. And here it... Uh, Oh yeah, he actually made a curved station for the ride. That's another really uh, interesting thing he did. I really like uh, how, how this uh, looks. That's pretty cool. Now, the main issue uh, I had with this entry was that it's uh, very glitchy in, uh, in uh, quite a few places. If we uh, move throughout this park, you can see a lot of these roofs just uh, dancing, uh, flickering, click... Uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, I think th I'm always a little bit annoyed uh, by that, and especially in this entry, there's a lot of that uh, going on. So yeah, that's also why I uh, deducted a few points from from the rating that I gave this park. It's a shame because uh, all these buildings are really nice to look at, but stuff like this, I think it's really distracting. So yeah, when you make a park like this. Um, even if you build in the open GL uh, mode, it's usually good to switch back to the software, uh, one of the software drawing engines to see how other people will see the park if they cannot use the open GL mode. Uh, the open GL mode is a lot less glitchy, but not every uh, one can use it on their computer. I also cannot use it on this uh, computer. So yeah, um, yeah, just always check for a glitching because it's really distracting. All right, here's the entry from uh, Melmac. Uh, Melmac also made an, an impressive park. Uh, you can see a big, uh, nice round Ferris wheel here. There's a Eurofighter uh, coaster here. It's even uh, a launched, double launched free fall here on the, this uh, this top hat for the for the Eurofighter. Um, for the Morgan, uh, you can see it leave the station here. I really like this uh, station building. That's done uh, really well. I love how these uh, portcullis doors are used as windows here. It even has a little glass uh, roof on top here to let in some uh, extra light. You can see the coach travel up the lift hill here. There's not too many guests uh, in it, not sure why. This uh, support structure looks uh, really good. He actually also made uh, footers uh, under the coaster. So yeah, you can not only do that for Woody's, but uh, it also works nicely for uh, these uh, Morgan coasters. Uh, here's here's uh, one uh, turnaround. Here's some uh, extra hills. Then there's another turnaround here before it hits the brake run. Again, it's usually a good idea to make uh, more brakes here rather than just one block section at the end. Now here's a little bit of a tunnel and a series of uh, bunny hops before it returns back to the station. So a nice uh, transfer track here. But yeah, I think this uh, park is really uh, gorgeous. This, uh, there's just so many uh, nice uh, buildings here to look at. Also these extra rides, that they look great. I love this uh, splash boats uh, ride, <laughs> Swag Terry Splunge. <laughs> You probably copy those from Swag Titties and uh, Terry Inferno. Uh, also, there's a Eurofighter. I think it also looks uh, looks uh, pretty good. Kind of reminds me of the one I made in my uh, Mega Park. So it starts with a launch, does several inversions, and then later it does a, a Beyond Vertical Drop. So yeah, very nice uh, park, very nice uh, extra rides, and uh, I love all the buildings in here. Oh, especially this building looks uh, really good. I think there's actually uh, some uh, signs used as uh, as uh, walls here. I think that gives a really nice effect with these uh, windows. I think that's uh, really brilliant. So yeah, great job from uh, Melmac. I hope to see more uh, stuff like this in the, in the future. Nice job. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Supra Normal. 
he uh, made this uh, big rectangular map with a big uh, Morgan coaster and also some uh, extra rides. Now, first off, uh, I love the shape of the map uh, and also the palette that he used. It kind of looks like there's a uh, sunset uh, going on. Um, this Ferris wheel uh, has a really uh, interesting structure here in the middle. It's also a hotel you can see here. And here's uh, one of those uh, air launched uh, vertical coasters. It does first starts with a big uh, top hat here. And then later there's a Cobra roll here, right next to the hyper coaster. So a maze and uh, some other rides as well. So yeah, for the for the Morgan, um, I love this uh, station that he made here it's called the, the Kraken. There's this uh, big sea monster on top of the building. Um, I love the way he did his uh, cues here, and. Uh, yeah, this uh, forest here, it, uh, it looks really nice. I should learn uh, to make a forest like this. It actually looks more like uh, lots of uh, shrubs rather than uh, a big amount of trees. But it does uh, still look uh, qu quite tropical. And uh, together with the palette, I think this makes, uh, yeah, this makes it uh, look really nice. Uh, the Morgan also has a really interesting support structure. Uh, there's some big uh, hills here. It, uh, here it turns around. Um, yeah, I turn around here quite low to the ground. Then probably somewhere around here there will be a brake run. Yeah, it's right over here with a nice and uh, small evacuation stair. And then it uh, finishes with some uh, bunny, uh, bunny hops. Also uh, a really simple tunnel here before here at the end it returns back to the station so yeah this is just a great uh, morgan and uh, i think this is a really good example of great uh, trees and uh, plants this looks uh, amazing great stuff okay here's the entry from manticore 007 uh, so yeah he made this uh, what's it what's it called well yeah, it looks like a an industry park or uh, of sorts you can see these big warehouses. You can see this uh, Warden Cliff uh, globe. I believe it's based on Warden Cliff Tower. It kind of looks like a big uh, Tesla coil of sorts with all these, uh, yeah, with all these electricity arcs uh, poking out. <laughs> um, and of course, there's a big uh, Morgan coaster here. Uh, I also love the way he made this uh, road uh, right next to it. It's uh, yeah, it's almost hard to believe that this was done without uh, custom scenery, but uh, I think it looks uh, great. Now here for the Morgan, you can see this uh, impressive support structure also with footers uh, uh, below it. One thing I didn't really like was that uh, yeah, after this uh, lift hill, the supports are done with these uh, poles here, and there's actually quite uh, there's actually a way uh, too little of these poles I think. I mean, there's large, uh, large unsupported uh, sections in between. I think it looks much nicer if there's uh, more of these poles in between. That's also also why uh, when you have the standard supports, there's just uh, way more of them than, uh, yeah, than the, the few uh, that are here now. I mean, this is a large uh, unsupported section in the middle. It would probably sag when the car moves over it. So yeah, that uh, probably could have been done a little bit uh, better. Now, other than that, I think these uh, buildings here and uh, looks re look really nice. I love the way he did this uh, boat, especially. Uh, looks like it has a lot of cargo here. Uh, very nice uh, industrial section here. I also love this big uh, building that he made here. And here in the middle, there's a, there's a little park that apparently has a lot of uh, balloons. And also a big hot air balloon here, <laughs> Henry uh, Gifford. So yeah, um, personally, uh, I didn't really like the Morgan too much, but uh, apparently a lot of other people actually really liked it. So that's why he uh, scored quite high with it. But I think most people simply loved the park that he made, because all these buildings, uh, these parks, uh, this boat, 
these extra rides, they all look uh, really nice. Okay, here we have the entry from Shen Kitchen. Uh, Shen made a Mexican park. Uh, you can also see that from the colors on the on the coaster. Now, I think this is a very impressive uh, Morian coaster. I really like the way uh, Shen did the support here. Um, also here, some uh, poles uh, under it. I also really like the way he did these uh, support poles here. So there's these observation towers and then some of these uh, corner uh, pieces on top. I think that, uh, yeah, that gives these supports a really nice uh, look here. Also, I really like the way he did this uh, mid-course break run. And also these evacuation stairs with these uh, fences around them. That gives it a really nice uh, look. So yeah, I think the Morgan was done uh, really well. I also love the color f colors for the for the trains. That's also uh, quite nice. Now there's uh, some other rides as well. But yeah, I could see that uh, some parts of the park were a little bit uh, rushed. So he made this Eurofighter here with a towel team. Oh, uh, towel team is actually my favorite uh, team in this game. <laughs> So you can see some uh, towels uh, st standing here. Um, but yeah, for example, this support uh, that's right here. I think it has no uh, business being here. And when we rotate the park uh, around, you can see some of these supports uh, are actually completely in the wrong spot. And they will only look nice from uh, one angle. So yeah, that's uh, why some parts in this park look a little bit uh, rushed. You can also see it here on these uh, roads, for example. For example, these lines here, they uh, they really don't uh, match up. And stuff like this, it's just really easy to fix. You could just put a normal path piece here and then the roads would, the lines would simply be gone here. And that would already make it uh, look a lot nicer here. So yeah, there's just some of these little things here that looked a bit rushed. Also these rocks that are on top of the water. So ro yeah. But uh, I, uh, from what I understood, uh, Shen uh, actually did a 12-hour playing session before uh, handing in this entry. So uh, I think uh, he was just glad he was uh, he finally could uh, could uh, submit the entry. Now I do love all the uh, little buildings here. They look uh, really nice. Um, just nice uh, decorations uh, everywhere. And I love the way he actually did this path here to. Uh, yeah, to this little uh, restaurant over here. So yeah, there's uh, lots of uh, cool stuff to see, but uh, yeah, I think this would have scored even higher if it was a little bit more uh, polished in those places that I just mentioned. Right, here's the entry from Terror Hank. Now he has a very uh, interesting color scheme for his, uh, for his uh, park. So here there's a big red section, here's a blue section, and uh, there's a rainbow uh, in between. Now I'm not really sure what this red and blue section are meant to represent because he didn't provide a story for his uh, plot. But it does at least look uh, pretty interesting. Now what's even more interesting that actually most of the rides in this entry actually used uh, shoestringing in some way. Even uh, this uh, hyper coaster. It's uh, yeah, he actually used the shoestringing to actually make a diagonal uh, mid-course break run here. So yeah, that's something you don't see uh, often on a coaster. Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting that he actually uh, actually did the shoestring just to get this uh, working. <laughs> now, um, I think the, the map itself, it just looks uh, really cool. I uh, love these two uh, islands, the red one and the blue one, and the way they are uh, connected. These uh, supports also for the coaster as it passes over it, uh, they look really nice. There's uh, so some really cool uh, buildings here in the park as well. Even uh, diagonal buildings. Uh, I generally avoid <laughs> making diagonal buildings because uh, they hurt my head. But yeah. Um, as for the Morgan coaster, uh, just uh, yeah, I guess this is the station here. It leaves the station and travels upwards here to the second uh, to the Blue Island. Here does uh, 
turn around around this ferris wheel this is a uh, ferris wheel is framed here uh, very nicely i love how the coaster travels uh, around it and here of course there's the diagonal brake run and then after that there's some more uh, bunny hills before it returns back to the station i think this is a typical uh, morgan layout and it looks uh, really good so yeah, um, really nice uh, landscaping, very interesting uh, shoestrung rides. There's also this uh, this boomerang, which actually uh, travels upwards here a little bit before it uh, drops down again. So yeah, very interesting rides, uh, very, uh, very nice entry. Great job. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Ulfenwood. He made this uh, very uh, big park. I think it's almost the uh, maximum size. Um, so yeah, let's just follow uh, the Morgan coaster. Here's the station, it's called Fatal Fury. Again, interesting uh, support structure here. Uh, here's the first hill, and it uh, rotates around. I like how, you how the cars actually meet each other here uh, in this section. So here's a really nice uh, turnaround. I love how it uh, turns around here within this structure of the Woody. Um, this is some great uh, interaction. Well, they didn't meet each other here, but uh, I think it looks great when uh, these cars go around this turnaround at the same time. And here there's the mid-course uh, brake run. This is probably an, uh, an elevator for the, for the staff. Uh, here there's a bit of a helix, and then here there's the final uh, bunny hops before it returns back to the station. Now this park, uh, it looks amazing. There's just really uh, cool buildings everywhere. Uh, really nice rides. Uh, I love these uh, little bridges also that he made here. This Woody uh, also looks uh, incredible. He even made a jet ski uh, right here called the Jumping Jets. It's probably not very safe, but again, <laughs> it looks uh, amazing. So yeah, just uh, tons of uh, cool stuff to see here. Also, I really like uh, how detailed he made his, uh, his uh, entrance here. Just uh, so many cool little buildings everywhere. Um, yeah, one little nitpick I had about the park was that this Ferris wheel actually is a little bit egg-shaped. You'll probably want to uh, also have uh, like a bit of flat track on the top just to make it look more round. But yeah, that's just really the, one of the only flaws uh, that I found in this uh, park. Other than that, uh, all the rides, all the buildings, everything just looks uh, really nice. So, a uh, great job from Elfenwood. Okay, here we have the park from uh, Robbie Hood. Now, he uh, only joined our Discord recently, but he's already making quite a name for himself. I love seeing all his uh, entries, and this one was no exception. He actually remade uh, Mamba, one of the existing uh, Morgan Hypercoasters. So, here's the station. He actually also provided some pictures of on the Discord, and actually looked uh, quite a lot like the like the real thing. So here it travels up the lift hill, and here's uh, here's the first hill um, again with uh, quite a nice uh, support structure right under it. Actually used a wooden coaster track uh, right under the normal track, and also under this. Uh, uh, under these steep parts, he actually put a uh, wild mo uh, wooden wild mouse track, I believe, and that's a really nice way to do these uh, supports here, especially in this uh, part that has a bit of a curve uh, in it. So yeah, some more uh, supports here. Here's the turnaround of the coaster, and then here's uh, a brake run, also with some evacuation stairs. And then after that, there's simply a series of uh, bunny hills before it does kind of a big turnaround uh, and then goes back to the station. Now, uh, to be uh, to be fair, I uh, it's been a while since I've seen a right uh, video or, or a yeah POV video of this uh, of the actual coaster, so I cannot really tell how accurate he remade it. But even uh, even if it uh, w isn't uh, accurate i think it is even if it wasn't it still looks uh, amazing um the other rides in the park also look uh, really good i also i uh, really like the 
the watercolor he used in this park kind of looks like a really uh, thick water. But yeah, these river rapids, they're decorated really nicely. I also really like how he put these uh, rocks uh, right next to these uh, rapids uh, sections. I also love these uh, structures here in the in the middle. I guess these are uh, lifeguards. <laughs> uh, also some uh, some slides here. Um, so a lot of extra rides. There's a log flume here. Also here's the Orient Express, which uh, still existed back then. This was uh, Worlds of Fun in 1998. I believe uh, Orient Express uh, has been uh, removed. But yeah, I believe it was one of the few coasters which had uh, interlocking uh, loops. But yeah, lots of uh, cool rides uh, here in the park. I also really like the way he did this uh, entrance, where the guests actually pass uh, through a, a boat which is uh, parked here. So yeah, lots of cool buildings, lots of uh, cool rides. Uh, Timberwolf. So yeah, um, like I said, just uh, download this park for yourself and uh, take a look. If you've ever been to this uh, park uh, in 1998, uh, let me know and uh, let me know how well it's uh, recreated. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Scorpion. Now, I love uh, Scorpion's entry uh, entries. They uh, focus a lot on realism and uh, they're usually uh, full of details and uh, this one is no exception. Now, this uh, Morgan has an <laughs> insane support structure. Just look at all these uh, different uh, walls and fences and poles. Um, this is uh, really insane. Must have taken quite a while to make this. It even has uh, a lot of footers uh, right under it. This is uh, already uh, amazing work. Um, so yeah, a big uh, first hill. Um, again, with lots of uh, insane supports right under it. I love the way he did these uh, footers. Here's a really nice uh, turnaround with some extra supports. Here's a typical uh, Morgan tunnel, very simple uh, design. And here's the mid course brake run. I think this is the best uh, evacuation stairs I've seen so far. They're completely enclosed with these uh, fences. I think that looks uh, really good. And then finally, here's a set of uh, bunny hills. And here's an uh, interesting uh, turnaround. Not sure if this is also found on any uh, existing Morgan coaster, but it is uh, found on, uh, I believe it is, a uh, turnaround like this is found on one of the Arrow uh, Hyper coasters. And finally here, there's a transfer track before it returns back to the station. Now, uh, yeah, I love uh, the way this is built. I love uh, the way he did the queue here. So really nice mix of uh, fences right next to it. I love all the gardens he uh, put next to it. This is a very very nice uh, queue area. One of the best I've seen so far. I also love the way he did these uh, gardens here with these uh, trees. A really nice uh, restaurant here called the Chicken Shack. Uh, something I also really like in this park is the way he did these fences here. So he put some uh, like some bricks and then he put these uh, railings on top. He mixed them with some poles and uh, yeah, it just looks really good together. Also, it's these uh, footers right under the coaster. Um, that's all uh, yeah, really nice. I love the way all this uh, looks. Now the pots here, he uh, made them with these uh, wooden planks. He uh, mixed the colors a bit, rotated a few of them. This just looks uh, so nice. I also love the, how he did the uh, umbrellas here. There's just uh, so much uh, nice uh, stuff to look at. So yeah, this was uh, definitely uh, one of my favorites. I'm happy it uh, ended up in the top 10. Great work. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Dogs. Dogs made this uh, massive uh, Morgan Hypercoaster. Again, very different uh, support structure, but uh, again, very nice looking. I love how he actually mixed the, the gray and uh, the white, it looks like. I also really like how he made the, uh, even made a diagonal uh, support structure here for uh, this section. So yeah, here's uh, here's the turnaround, and then it passes under itself. Here's another uh, turnaround around these uh, fountains. And here's the mid-course brake run. 
Don't really like the evacuation stairs the way he did them here. But yeah, then finally here's a set of uh, bunny hills before it returns back to the station. But yeah, uh, I think it's very interesting uh, Morgan layout. I love the way he did this uh, American flag here. That looks uh, super nice. I also love this uh, sign he made here. Uh, <laughs> Gale Force. It's a nice uh, name for the ride. Also some uh, some cool uh, slides here. Also with an interesting uh, support structure. A really nice bridge here with a glass uh, bottom. Or a glass uh, floor, I mean. Some other rides here as well. And one thing that I really like, which he did in this park, was uh, that he actually didn't use keep the standard uh, ground texture. But he actually uh, put all these uh, walls against it to make all these different layers of, uh, of soil. So I think that looks uh, very interesting for the map edge. He <laughs> did actually did it uh, alongside the uh, entirety of the map. And here uh, in the corner he uh, actually put some uh, foliage uh, against it. I guess this, uh, this tractor is broken down. Also a little nice detail here, he actually put a deer in the in the forest here. So yeah, I think this is a very nice uh, entry, very nice shape. And uh, yeah, I l really like how we did the uh, land edge here. Really nice job. Okay, then we have the entry from uh, Risico. Uh, Risico uh, also made a big industrial park. Uh, so themed for uh, electricity. You can see a big, uh, yeah, a big uh, thunder here. Or big lightning, I mean. Whatever it's called. Yeah, lightning. <laughs> um, so yeah, also lots of uh, buildings here themed to electricity. I really like how he made these uh, these towers here with uh, coils on top. Which have these uh, fences uh, yeah, connecting here in the middle. Kind of looks like an uh, electricity effect. I think that looks uh, really cool. Uh, yeah, just lots of uh, interesting uh, buildings here. Lots of interesting support structures. Uh, this coach is actually called the teleporter. Probably because it teleports uh, from this building to uh, to this building. Also a really nice uh, Ferris wheel here, even though it's uh, not uh, functional. But uh, I really like the way this looks with this uh, support structure here in the middle. And these uh, cars here. I think maybe it could have used a few more uh, cars than uh, the one uh, it has now. Also, I really like this uh, robot or this uh, BattleBots uh, arena. And also, these uh, you can see some uh, entertainers here, which he froze uh, with some uh, go karts actually used as radio controlled uh, cars. That's uh, some really cool details. Now, and there's also the Morgan Hypercoaster here, of course. Uh, you can see it. Uh, it's a lift hill here. It's a very interesting uh, support structure. Maybe not really uh, Morgan-like, but at least it uh, does look very impressive. I love the way these uh, cross beams uh, look. It's just a mixture of so many different uh, walls and fences. So uh, here it goes down. Then there's the first hill here. I really like this uh, structure here in the in the corner. That's pretty cool. Lightning Tower. Uh, another nice uh, hill here. And here's the turnaround around this uh, electricity uh, building. And here's the mid course brake run with the um, evacuation stairs. Then here there's a helix around this uh, tower. That's, uh, that's really nice. I love uh, the way he made it uh, go around it. And then finally, here there are some really shallow uh, bunny hops before it uh, returns back to the station. So yeah, very uh, interesting uh, entry. A lot of details throughout. Uh, so many nice buildings here. So much uh, stuff to see. Uh, yeah, like I said before, just download this entry, check it for yourself, because I cannot possibly cover everything that's, uh, that, uh, that you can find here. I think this will be a fun uh, map to uh, explore for yourself. Great uh, work from Risico. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Swag Titties. Um, again, lots of uh, black tiling, even though he didn't <laughs> use the correct uh, palette for it. 
because his palette doesn't actually have uh, black tiles that actually has these gray lines. But uh, judging from his score, most people uh, forgave him uh, for that. Oh, very nice uh, support structure for his uh, lift hill. I like that he also made this uh, yeah, this r return uh, track for the for the chain lift. It's uh, something you don't often see people do, but it is always a nice uh, detail to have. So yeah, here uh, the coast travels uh, downwards. Then there's uh, this uh, section here. I really like how we used these uh, observation towers for the supports. That's, uh, that looks really nice. I also really like how it passes over these uh, paths here with these uh, arches. Actually does that uh, several times. I love uh, the way uh, this looks with these uh, diagonal uh, paths here. That's uh, really cool. Um, then here's the mid-course uh, brake run, also with evacuation stairs. Then there's a big turnaround here. Now for that uh, series of uh, bunny hops before it returns back to the station. So yeah, quite a simple layout, but uh, I think it's executed in a great way. Um, I love the way he did all of these uh, supports. Um, the other rides in this uh, park, they also look fantastic. I love this uh, star flyer that he uh, made here. This, uh, this building here looks really nice. It even has an uh, indoor uh, coaster inside of here. Also love this uh, this water coaster that he made here. Actually uses the splash boats. Uh, yeah, the splash boat boats. <laughs> kind of reminds me of one of these Mac uh, water coasters. Oh yeah, it's also called Atlantis. So yeah, normally it would have a turn around or uh, like this reversing section here. Then you would do this part backwards. Here you would reverse again, and then you would uh, splash down. But yeah, some uh, really nice uh, decorations around here. I love the way he did all these uh, supports, these uh, ruins. Uh, really cool uh, buildings here as well. Um, yeah, there's just uh, nice buildings uh, throughout this park. A big focus on uh, realism uh, once again. And uh, yeah, that's really what uh, Swag Tiddies is uh, really good at. It does look like some of the guests uh, cannot find their way around. But yeah, that's... Uh, I think it's more important that, it, that uh, the park actually uh, looks good. So yeah, uh, fantastic work from uh, Swag Teddies once again. Okay, um, here's the third place entry. This one's from uh, Milpje. Now, uh, <laughs> when I saw this, uh, my jaw dropped to the floor. I mean, this castle, uh, it just looks amazing. I believe it actually uses the max uh, land height that's uh, allowed by a roller coaster tycoon. And this castle is really built all the way uh, up to the top. I mean, just uh, look at this. <laughs> this looks uh, this looks amazing. Uh, I love the way uh, these bridges, all these towers, and all this uh, all these walls, these uh, dwarven statues. Uh, I just love the way they all look. Even a bit, a little uh, church here. Well, little, <laughs> a big church here. Even has an enterprise uh, inside of it. It's uh, an extra coaster here. Um, so yeah, this uh, this castle is uh, absolutely amazing. Now, um, there's also, of course, a Morgan on this entry. This is uh, the station building. Uh, yeah, this uh, support structure is uh, is quite nice. Although I would have liked to see some uh, also some of these sloped wooden post fences here on top, just to make these supports uh, follow the track more. I do like the way Mopia did this arch uh, here. Now, and then here, it uh, just does uh, some of these hills. There's a little tunnel here. And then here's the brake run. Uh, for the brake run, it's usually a better idea to uh, put several brake sections and only then the block section. Um, quite often, the coaster will come to a standstill here because this is the last block section in the track. So if the, the second train hasn't left the station yet by this point, the coaster will just come to a standstill here. So yeah, that's uh, that's something that should have been done better, I think. Because there's a brake section here at the end, but it doesn't actually have block brakes at the end. So yeah, that, uh, that's something that sh probably should have been sorted out. And that's also why I dropped my score for the coaster a little bit. 
But yeah, like I said, this uh, castle looks uh, fantastic. Really, download this entry and check it out for yourself. Uh, this park uh, really deserves uh, to be watched. And uh, yeah, I cannot possibly uh, go over all the details in this park. There's just uh, so much to uh, take in. But yeah, uh, I think this is a great, uh, a great park for uh, for third place. Great job once again from uh, Mulpia. Well done. Okay, then there's just two parks uh, remaining. There's a park from Meket and a park from Mamarias. Two uh, familiar names. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I will just uh, show both of the parks first and then after that I will reveal which one actually won the round. So yeah, this is the entry from uh, Meket. Um, again, a big focus on uh, realism. Now the shape of the park, I think it looks really nice. Uh, the Morgan Coaster is uh, really the focus of this uh, park. This uh, support structure, it looks amazingly uh, clean. I believe it actually uh, actually uses uh, what's this? I believe it actually uses uh, this mini uh, suspended coaster track here in in the middle. But actually, it looks uh, like there's more uh, connecting beams here. I think this is just a trick of uh, yeah of uh, the isometric uh, perspective. But yeah, it uh, does make the support structure look uh, really good. I think. Also uh, a return uh, a return guide for the for the chain lift. It's also a nice uh, detail of course. Station also looks really nice. Well, here's the first drop. It passes uh, under itself. I also really like the pole supports for uh, a lot of the track. Also for this uh, little diagonal section also some uh, extra supports. These uh, supports are all done incredibly well. I also love the way uh, Mekit did this uh, fence around the coaster, and he even put some. Uh, yeah, he even used some of these uh, lamps, actually as uh, yeah as posts for the fence. That's done in a really clever way. So yeah, there's probably some uh, invisible uh, queue path here with these uh, lamps uh, surrounding it. I think it's a really clever way to do these uh, fences around the coaster. Uh, for the rest of the layout, yeah, it's just a typical Morgan. So here's a mid-course break, mid break run. After that, several uh, bunny, bunny hills before it returns back to the station. Now, the other rides here in the park are also uh, really nice. There's a log flume. Um, that's a really nice uh, woody here as well. This uh, woody looks uh, incredible. Also, uh, again, with uh, footers, really nice uh, support work. Uh, incredible buildings throughout the park, fountains, uh, yeah, the <laughs> extra ride uh, rides. This uh, this park really has uh, everything you could uh, want from it. Potates, um, yeah, just uh, really nice landscaping as well. Even in, uh, a big parking lot here, even with a helicopter. I believe there's also uh, aliens here. <laughs> So yeah, um, fantastic work uh, once again from uh, Meket. So uh, now let's take a look at the other park, which uh, is in the top two. Okay, so here's the park from uh, Mamarias. Uh, that's an impressive uh, sculpture as uh, as uh, we are used from him. So I believe this is the statue's uh, winged uh, victory. It's an old uh, statue from uh, from somewhere in Greece. Which uh, does not have a uh, not have a head anymore. I think he uh, recreated it in a in a beautiful way. Now, uh, of course, there's a lot more in the park. Uh, lots of uh, lots of these buildings in a uh, Roman or uh, or gr Greek uh, Greek style. I love the way he made this uh, diagonal uh, disco ride. Uh, lots of other rides here as well. Here you can see a custom carousel that he uh, that he made. I also really like the way he did this Ferris wheel. So instead of making a support structure uh, by himself, he actually just put a, a normal Ferris wheel here on the inside. It kind of looks uh, strange but cool uh, at the same time. Now for the Morgan, 
here's a really cool looking uh, station actually with uh, roofs facing to the inside um, yeah here you can see it travel up the lift hill I really like the way he did these supports they look uh, really nice and uh, clean it's kind of an interesting choice to go for a brown color but uh, I think it uh, works so it's a uh, really tall uh, so it uh, travels down the it travels down the first uh, hill here. Then it uh, goes over this hill here. Here's uh, another uh, few hills. It's a very simple uh, layout, just like your uh, like uh, you can expect from a Morgan. I really like how it travels through these uh, ruins here, and then does a turn around around this uh, this big statue here. I also like the supports that he made here. So we actually put uh, moved these uh, supports to the side using a uh, little track piece, and then he put these diagonal poles uh, against it. I think it gives quite a nice uh, effect. Although maybe for these big hills, uh, maybe some more of these supports would have also worked. But yeah, uh, these supports like this, they're obviously easier to place uh, when you're also building uh, yeah, these uh, structures uh, below it, like he did here. I think it's also really interesting how he did these uh, supports uh, over the water here using these uh, ruins uh, pieces. So yeah, uh, amazing park. I also like how he made a bit of a farm here. Kind of like an uh, olive uh, garden. So yeah, it, uh, it looks really good uh, when uh, zoomed in, but also when uh, zoomed out. So yeah, I think... Uh, it's finally time to reveal who is the winner of this round. So yeah, I think I'm not going to make the <laughs> drum roll too long this time because I've already been talking for uh, way too long. So, um, it's time to reveal the winner. The winner of the 17th Ride Creation Contest is... Make it. So yeah, um... Like I said, this uh, this uh, park uh, looked fantastic, but yeah, the quality in this round was so high. I didn't expect to get uh, 38 finished entries. I expected to get a lot uh, less because, uh, yeah, the maximum map size was 100 by 100, so that was uh, actually quite a daunting uh, t task to uh, to fulfill. But yeah, uh, a lot of players ent entered and the quality was again uh, astonishing, astonishingly high uh, this round. So yeah, um, like I said, you can download all these entries uh, from my Discord if you want to take a look at them uh, yourself. Uh, the link to my Discord can be found in the video description. Anyway, I hope uh, you, you enjoyed watching all these entries. If you... Uh, joined this entry i hope you enjoyed playing in it uh, a new new contest will start in a in a few days and uh, yeah I, I hope to see uh, many people join uh, the contest once again all right i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you again in the next one see you later <laughs>